She is one of three in the whole state, and from what officials say, the only one in central Ohio. In this week's Side Roads, Kristen Hartman went to meet the woman who's coaching varsity <laughs> boys basketball at Cambridge High School. Yeah, Coach Cheryl Weber has loved basketball since childhood, and she's coached other boys teams, just never varsity. Watch her work and have a conversation with her, with her and you understand why she got the job. Keep going, keep going, keep going, finish, finish. Finish. You might call her Mrs. Basketball. Oh! Even with her love and command of the sport, though. No, we're just going to do offense right now. Right. No defense. This coach knows hoop dreams aren't everything. And student Stephen Storage, who told us about her, says she isn't afraid to say so. She knows how to tell people how it is. For Cheryl Weber, this is how it is. What do you mean you can't do this one? It's hard. There's gravity. No such thing as can't. It's talk the coach walks. When she got cancer twice, she fought it. When her daughter took her own life, Weber grieved. She still does. I break down every day. But instead of crumbling, she joined the Suicide Prevention Coalition. I've never allowed the adversity to stop me. So, no surprise, last year when she was the lone lady in an all-male race for a big coaching job, <laughs> she aced the challenge and became the in-girl. Now, Weber is one of a few women in all of Ohio to coach a boys' varsity team, the Bobcats at Cambridge High School. A lot of people have a real problem with a woman being in charge of boys, which I don't fully understand that. Did you hear that? Oh, yes. You also had your supporters. And I, what'd they say to you? You go, girl. <laughs> I said, thank you. <laughs> then she took the ball oh. and has been making her players run with it ever since. They don't make a big deal about the woman thing. It's no different than a man coaching. She knows what she's doing. But there are doubters for the gender reason and because Cambridge is pretty much starting from scratch with its lineup this year. We've heard we may only win two games. It's just from watching a few practices and scrimmage this year, I think we'll be do a lot better than two wins, yeah. And we just want to be the best we can be with her. Her team members love the fact. Come on, Josh! She pushes them not in a punishing yeah. way. And I don't see the purpose of degrading someone for a mistake, we all make them. But a positive one, on and off the hardwood. She said she's gonna put the student back in athlete. She demands a higher GPA of her players than the norm. And if they don't meet that, they have a mandatory study table that they attend from 6.45 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. three days a week. Weber is, after all, a teacher. You're going to dazzle them with your brilliance. Who wants to prepare her players. So it's chop chop. Right on. 24 is the score to be. For the game of life. Part of that is building character and, and teaching them right from wrong and, and giving them a work ethic. There you go, nice. I asked her varsity boys to describe Coach Weber. They used words like eye-opening and great person. She calls them amazing young men. She says all seven are going to college. Five of them have 4.0 GPAs. First official game is early next month. Let me be the first to say, go Cambridge.